Right then everybody, welcome back to Angler Carl. Now, just before this video starts, I do want to say, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of people that watch the videos that don't subscribe. It literally takes two seconds to subscribe. So get yourself subscribed. So today, we are back at Ravenfield Ponds on the new pond. Now, I just want to say, this is a beautiful venue, guys. It's dead flat calm today. It's really nice. Uh, and also, if the audio sounds a bit different, I haven't got my mic on because this jumper is a little bit up to the neck. Uh, now, the weather recently has been weird in England. For some reason, we're in summer and it's just been cold and miserable and terrible. So I thought I'd do a bit of dead maggot fishing. Also, we're going to put two on the end of the oak and I'm just going to fish. Just going to show you guys. We're just plumbed up right near these lily pads here. And the, the sort of the the lake bed is sort of just like level when I move the plummet across, it's all very level, so that will make it a bit easier. So let's get stuck in and let's see if we can catch out. Oh yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. Don't come off, don't come off. No. Oh, it come off. It literally come off, guys, as it took the maggots. Oh God, they're just not getting nailed, are they? I reckon these are probably like little finicky roach bites and stuff, guys. We need that one to nail it and like i said i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try and feed up i mean maggots honestly guys they're just a fantastic bit something's literally attacking it right i think i've got something what is it bro i'm gonna swing that to me oh it's a perch it's literally a perch guys that would explain oh my god i love perch they are so adorable so we're literally in, guys, with the first fish, which is a perch. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna put that down here. Look at that, a little babby perch. No wrong with that. Yeah, something's attacking that again. Now, like I said, I don't wanna go too mental. It's another little tiddly one. I don't know what it is, but we'll see, is that a perch? That is another perch, guys, wowzers. Look at that, a little, Little perch, lovely fish. Absolutely, he's going to be a stunner when um, he grows up. And, and funnily enough, he's actually nailed one of the maggots. So we've got to put one. So that's two fish, guys, here on Ravenfield Ponds. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. It's a perch, it's a perch, it's a perch. This is a bit better perch as well. Little babby perch. Nice. It feels a bit better. Oh, it's giving me a good pull, this one. I don't know what this is, guys. Could it be a baby ten? Or is it another perch? It's a perch. It's another perch. It's a bit better, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we're in. We're in. I don't know what it is, but it feels pretty good. I don't know, is it snagged on something? It felt snagged on something. It's another perch. It's another perch. Oh yeah, oh yes, I don't know, it feels perchy again I think, oh no, oh no, it's something better guys, whoa, whoa, that is something better, that is something better guys, I'm trying to get it out of that lily pad, I'm not sure, that is something better, oh my god guys, that ain't no perch, that, that, I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to try and keep it away from the, um, from the lily pads because I do not want to lose this, whatever it is. I'm just gonna bring it up a bit. I'm just gonna let it fight a bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, let me try and get a bit better angle here for you guys, but check out that elastic puller. That is a definite elastic puller. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna try and get it under control a little bit, guys. I don't want to go too, too balmy. I think this could be a netter. Dunking that top kit in. The heart starts racing, guys, when this happens. So after them few perch, we've literally managed to get hooked into something that feels, that feels a lot, lot better. Um, what could it be? Oh, it's a tench, it's a tench, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. Yes, get in there, guys, that is... Oh, that's a cracker. That is a cracker in the tench. Look at that for a tench, guys. 
Oh my God, let me try and get this camera a little bit closer. Look at that for a tench. Oh my God, he is a stunner. An absolute stunner, guys. So, dead maggots, you can go from catching perch to a lovely green bar of soap. Very nice. These dead maggots, it honestly just makes it, I don't know, it makes the action crazy. And like I said, dead maggots, I've always loved them as a bait because you can buy them and then you can just freeze them and then use them. Now I put, I think I put two off, I think I put three on the end of the hook, which was better. We intend to one of my favorite fish. So, you know, it just, it, it's absolutely made my day that catch him all right, put up a, it put up a very good fight. Um, but for me, guys, if you, if you're going to a tough venue, make sure you take some dead maggots with you guys, because honestly, you won't regret it. These things are just insane. They're brilliant. They work well. And, you know, they're just a fantastic hook bait. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you post your comments down below if you've used dead maggots and what you think to them. Make sure you share this video. Subscribe for new videos every single week. And as I always say, if you're fishing, have a good one.